everyone. Welcome to Weekend Project. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop. And we're working on a baby quilt today. It's actually for a friend of mine. So this, I went and just pulled from my collection. Um, the colors are pink and gray. So I thought I'll, I'll do something very pink and grayish. But I didn't quite have enough pink. So I thought I'll pull in a little bit of purples and then it kind of ties them all together. So I'm going to hold up one little bit here. And maybe you can guess what I'm working on. It's, I saw it on Facebook. That's all you get. You have to figure it out. Waiting for the comments. There we go. Kind of half, kind of pinned together. You'll see it as it's coming together. So I kind of saw it on Facebook, but I, I, I didn't get any measurements or look at it in detail. It literally just went flash past, and I meant to go back later and figure out where it was, but still can't find it. So I kind of did my own idea, as I well do. I adapt patterns to what I like. Uh, so I have it in some different kind of strips, and as you'll tell over here, I've got eight strips of one and a half, eight strips of two and a half, and eight strips of three and a half in the very complementary gray of what's going to go around this colorful stuff. Okay, so we're going to start from the bottom. We're going to take this piece right here, pop it over there, and we're going to take, because we know this is one and a half, okay, it's a one and a half inch piece, one inch, half inch. So we're like, okay, we better grab that one and a half inch gray piece. And we know there's already a line in the center of it. So we could just cut right along that fold line. Take that one and a half. Sew it on the, make sure it's going on the correct side. Because sometimes if it's directional, if you're fabric, this is just plain gray. So it could go either way. I just wanted to make sure I had it correct, which way I was going to sew it. Make sure you put your right sides together. And you're just going to do a straight seam. Okay? And we're going to do that on the other side. And we're just going to keep building. Okay? <laughs> Mystery! Make you wonder right till the very end. Question is, how are we going to label this pop? <laughs> Hopefully people will just be curious and click on it. Alright, so we're going to do that on the other side and then we're going to give it a little press. We're going to press those seams open. Not that it really matters. You can press them to the dark. It's up to you. I'm going to press them open. Okay. Take it, spread it, just put a little heat. Take the two fabrics, separate them, put a little heat in there, and then turn it over, and then just give it another little press. Oops, looks like we came a little short on the top there. Let's do that again. Wonder why. Maybe I didn't back tack. All right, scoot over here. There we go. Do, do, do. Okay. Now we're just going to press it. And there's our first one, which we are going to add to the big six and a half inch strip that I've taken and cut. And we're going to add this right to the bottom. Okay. Try and get it so that the half of this fabric right here is in the half of that fold, like you're kind of lining things up, okay? So don't worry, you're going to trim this all later. Don't worry about trimming the rows as we're going. Give it a little quick pin. Okay. <laughs> Figured it out yet? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> you will tell me. Okay. And then we're going to put this. I actually wasn't quite in the, in the middle, even though it looked like it was in the middle of the fold for some particular reason. All right, let's try this again. Okay. We want half of this. Okay. Oh, that's right, because the bolt isn't always half. Okay. Well, we're going to have to do it our way then. Put it in the half. Okay. It's a longer one. Like I said, we're going to trim later. So don't worry about it. We're trimming later. Much, much later. All right, just going to put one on either end and then sew it down. Okay. Seems like a lot of my pins all disappeared somewhere and must be in projects. <laughs> Where'd it go? Why'd it get out of stash out? All right, just gray thread, just because we are working with uh, purple, pink, and gray. So we're going to just, just nice little straight stitch, quarter of an inch, all the way down. Okay. 
and make sure your edges are lined up. So what we're building right now is the bottom of the quilt, the very bottom part of the quilt and the start of the pattern with that little purple rectangle. Okay, get a couple stitches on there first so I know it's not going to move. And take the pin out. And keep patterning down at a quarter inch seam allowance. Try and be as consistent as possible. I understand how sometimes machine gets away from you. <laughs> Especially put your pedal to the floor. And since we are trimming, just come and make sure you, t you back tack because we, we want to make sure that when we at least get to the edge of our of this, this fabric here, which is our base, as we're going up, we want to make sure we're tacking it down. Okay, so there's row one. <laughs> Can you guess yet? <laughs> All right, we're going to press it open. Press it anyways. We don't have to do the gray. I was just trying to do the colors. All um, the seam, the little uh, seams in between. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, so we'll put that there. And as you'll see right here, these are the uh, corners that ended up for the uh, north and south quilt, these colorful little corners here. So, and I've got uh, their address, and it's going to be mailed off once I get some nice good pictures in the yard. So, um, get them all because it's big. I can't, there's no place to hang it up in the house here. All right, so the next one is a two and a half piece wide, but it's how long? Uh, five. Okay, so we know we need to grab from the two and a half pile. Okay, there we go. I think what we'll do is, well, since we'll do it the half this way and then clip this way, then we know we got it. There's no confusion. Okay, now we take that, sew it on one side and sew on the other. Make sure we have our right side facing out, like the right sides together. These two right here. Okay. okay, then just do it on the other side. Make sure I have it correct. Yes, I do. You don't have to put a pin in. You could just like, it depends. You know, as it gets to some of the bigger fabrics, uh, the, the, the three and a half inch, you may want to at least pop a pin in so it doesn't shift too, too much on you. Now we press these seams open, and then we're going to pin it to the other one. And you could go uh, just build each row all the way up, but because it's a it's an, a placement sort of uh, visual thing, uh, that's the way I'm doing it. I have some numbers written down. Hopefully, we can kind of perfect a little pattern and uh, be able to share. Okay, so there we go. It's very cool. Now. Take our other little piece. Okay, we're gonna line it up. Make sure that little piece right there is kind of right in the halfway spot. You know what I mean? It looks it looks visual. It's not over this way. It's not over that way. We're trying to like half it all the way up, sort of thing. Okay, flip. Do a pin. Another pin on the other side. And then down on one end and down on the other. Okay. And of course it's going to get, as we're getting uh, the bigger pieces in the middle, it's going to get bigger flaps coming off the side. But don't worry about it, okay? No worries. Trim later. Okay, there we go. Now another seam. All the way down. I feel like my microphone poking me in the nose, but I guess it's the collar of my shirt or my sweater. And of course, you could do this with varying shades of a light tone on the outside. It doesn't have to be gray. It can be cream, white, creams and whites, whites on tones, whatever. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It's uh, as long as that lightness is there, you could definitely do it very scrappy. And I've only tried to use one color once, like each color once. So I did have to go through quite the collection and <laughs> start digging in there. And there's a couple of fat quarters that I, I cut into and I probably had, oh, I thought that maybe was a little shy on that side. Um, I probably had them for like three or four years and I've never cut into them. So it's kind of nice to be able to cut into them and put them in this quilt. So 
especially if it's for people I know. Do do do. Hardest part is just keeping it all lined up as you're going. That was a little close. Almost hit my needle. Almost hit my needle with my pin, or pin with my needle. Okay, now, let's see, I'll show you. Can you guess yet? <laughs> She'd be like, stop playing these games. <laughs> Oops, the little booklet was getting in the way there. Okay, and let's give it a little press. And then you're just going to keep doing that as you're plugging the way up the, the quilt pattern. Okay. Do, do, do. All right. There we go. Now the next color is this dark purple. Okay. There we go. And it's going to go right there. Okay. So we know this is the three and a half. So we know we got to cut, take that three and a half piece, cut it down the center, and then attach it to either side of this. Okay, there we go. Looks like a cake, <laughs> upside down. <laughs> to me, it looks like a cake. <laughs> we're making cake. No, we're not making cake. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna attach it to either side of this purple making sure we have our right side together. And of course, they're two solid fabrics. It's kind of hard to tell with these, but you know, if you were to use a pattern or have, you know, gingham or, you know, batiks, I guess batiks, it doesn't really matter either because they're beautiful on both sides. Okay, do do do. We just keep building away. Hello, <laughs> the fan's on it. <laughs> Making me fight the fabric. <laughs> Fishing. Fishing for fabric. All right. Do do do. We're almost getting there. Like I'm matching the quilt today. Didn't realize that with my purple jacket. Come on. There we go. It's like, don't mess with me. I got stuff to do, man. I got stuff to do. Peace to go, people see. There. And once you get into a little routine, you could just boop, 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 you know? You could probably put all the pieces together first and then pin them and or what have you. It's completely up to you. Okay, so now you want to make sure you're getting the half again. Okay. Did I sell that wrong? Oh, no, I didn't. I thought maybe I sold that in. It's like, how could I have done that? <laughs> Very easily. All right, so here we're going to find our half on this one. And this is the easiest way we're going to get this to work and not be too wonky on the eye. See how I found the halfway point right there? And this is my halfway point right here. And I'm going to make sure I'm going to put those two points together. Okay? And then I'm going to pin. You could easily mark it. You could pin it first before you start flipping things around. But that's what I'm doing. There we go. Okay? Cool. And then right to the end. Okay. I thought this would be a fun little project. I've been thinking about it since I saw it. And, uh, and there was another thing that went past, but of course I couldn't go back. I gotta save this stuff as soon as I see it. And I go, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I know I don't always have to come all the way down here for sewing because this is my main one. I'm not going to go beyond that for, for the for um, trimming and, and the quilt. It's not going to go beyond that because that's the, the shortest piece. Unless I put a border on it, which I easily could, but that's just helping to to easy to square it up. Oops, got poked in my shirt there.
So far it's been a great two weeks of first start of school. Everybody's getting into the routine. It's nice to see uh, drivers are paying attention and only doing what they need to do and at least listening to me when I tell them to slow down. <laughs> With my sign language of slow down. <laughs> I had this uh, truck. Sometimes, when you really need a cop, <laughs> just flying down the hill. Actually, it scared me yesterday morning with my uh, one of the other moms. Stopped to chat with them for, or she stopped stopped to chat with me for a minute, and uh, it flew right. It was coming down. I could feel it was making the road vibrate, and he was already even at the top of the hill. So I'm like, turned around. I'm like, and told him it was a 40 zone. You know, like, buddy. Do not make me report you because I will. I've done it before and I will do it again for the safety of my community and the children that I cross. There we go. What do you think of that? Can you guess? <laughs> like every three, three rows. Can you guess? No. All right. So now getting into the next piece, which should be... There we go. So it's like I'm, I'm already lost. Should be a one and a half, right? Because we're going one and a half, two and a half, three and a half. One and a half, two and a half, three and a half. That's how we're going along. Okay. So there. That's going to go there. So we need our one and a half piece. And we're going to cut it in half. And then sew it to either side. Okay. Do do do. Is that the right one? There we go. Ooh. I thought it'd be cute. Here's hope it turns out. If not, I'd start fresh with a baby quilt, make something else. <laughs> and this will just hang in the shop <laughs> as something weird. <laughs> All right, is that the right? Yes, it is. I think so. I think it'd be a great way to bust some scraps too. You could do the the strips, each different colors, or make it scrappy in its in its own right. You know, scrappy colors. I think a rainbow one like that would be kind of cool, especially for a young and they always love rainbows, all the colors. I don't think there's a kid out there that doesn't love a rainbow. All right, now we're gonna find the half. Do 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 half here. Half there, line them up, and then we'll make it square later. <laughs> okay, so line them up, half and half, point, point, and pin together. Okay. It's an easy one to put together. It's not really a whole lot. You just got to make sure you have your strips cut beforehand and then uh, making sure you're trying to get that halfway point. Or if you don't want to and you just want to let it go all wonky, that's totally up to you. I'm sure it'd be a really awesome different effect. You put your own spin on it. I think that's what some of these patterns uh, are, are really kind of screaming for is, you know, you put your own spin on it. It's kind of plain or a little, uh, not necessarily easy, but maybe just, I don't know. I'm sure you can just kind of do it a little bit different way or, or tweak it here, tweak it there. And like I say, put your own, put your own little stamp on it. Make it your own. Okay. All right. Sew this down. Trying to get all my pins back. This one's kind of fuller. I'm using, losing my yellows. Oh, I know where they are. I was trying to figure out where they were. They're actually pinning my uh, fall fair project together. <laughs> I'm like, where's all my pins? <laughs> really think about that. Got to get some more sewing done on her. It's not going to get done. Just 
Yeah, that's about right. Do a little back tack. Okay, and then press, and then I'll show you our purple stacking whatever. <laughs> it's a stack of purple somethings. <laughs> Can you guess? <laughs> I will. I will stop asking. <laughs> a few more rows. Lots more rows, actually. I think there was. You know what? I lost count. There's a lot. There's a lot. All right. What's the next one in the line? Is that it? Is this one that? Uh, yep. Seems about it. Okay. So take those pins off there. Move my stack down. This pretty little purple. A couple of these fabrics are new to my collection. They've been uh, dropped off and, and they were recycled. They wanted it out of theirs and I'm happy to take it into mine. So, all right, so we need two and a half, right? And I'm happy because I probably wouldn't have been able to finish off this project because I didn't have enough purples and pinks. I can't believe I said that, but really there's a time in the sewing that you don't have enough. <laughs> I'd say it's almost a daily thing, but. <laughs> All right, come on. One on either side. All right, where's that? Check in there, good to go. And of course, you can vary the size into any, any size you like, really. It's just make how, how big the strips are. You could have just used two and two, one and a half inch strips, two and a half inch strips, or whatever to build the whole thing. You know, I chose to do it different because uh, I didn't really want to be copywriting anybody's idea that I didn't even know if it was out there or not. So I'm kind of my own spin, doing my own thing, figuring it out. Come on, really? Listen, fabric. There we go. like that little purple leaf in it. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay, so we're gonna hold it up to here. There. Do we have a guess at all? Anybody? No. <laughs> Said I wasn't gonna ask, and it clearly did. All right, so let's fold in half. Do, do, do. I could probably do this on point if I just kept it up, you know what I mean, the fabric wise. <laughs> Gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> it's a big old diamond. <laughs> All right, find that halfway. I think we're going to put a little pin in there. Okay, and then here. Sorry, find that again. There we go. Just because I don't want to lose it as I'm trying to straighten them out. Okay. And of course, if you had directional fabric, make sure it's going directional. This is the bottom, and we're working our way up, okay? Make sure it's halfies. Looks halfies. Okay. Ow. Don't poke your finger. No bleeding on the project. <laughs> Nope, oh, it's not good. All right, and then do another strip all the way, so the strip all the way down. Okay, making sure if I put any pressure on this quilt top. Sure they're lined up. And this would be an easy one to quilt up too, because you can just stitch in the ditch or fill in the outside and then fill in the center. You know, there's lots you could do with this one too, quite easily. Just do waves, do straight lines, uh, loops, 
You know, you can add some applique to the gray parts, you know, or add more. Work it in so you make more of what we're doing. <laughs> Coming along. And I didn't do a mock up one. I'm just doing this as we're going and learning together. So. And I can't see how it would really mess up, really. On this. It's, it's not like it's hard or anything. So there we go. That looked much better. Looks beautiful. All right. Next piece. Okay, this one, of course it's a three and a half, okay, and they, of course they get a little bit narrower as they're coming up, so the steps difference in between them is a little bit, it's less, it's less, um, less visible, it's not like all coming all the way out here, it's just a smidgy up, up, up as it's coming now. Okay, so that looks good there, we need our three and a half, did I grab it already? No, I didn't. And I'm sure at some places near the top, uh, you could probably cut some, cut some of these ones off and they would work as the side pieces necessary, but I just wanted to make sure I had enough for the whole thing at the same time. The rest could just go into my scrappy bin and uh, recycle, so. Into other projects. All right, so we're gonna sew that on either side. Make sure I'm getting that correct. Not sewing one on one side and one on the other. Hasn't happened yet, but you never know. It's still early. <laughs> okay, and then that gets pinned right to there once we press those little opens. Perfect. Yeah, I just used a mix of uh, solids and patterns and, you know, whatever I had, really. There's even gingham in here and flowers and you name it. Whatever. Whatever was around. I think the more kind of colorful it was going to be, the, the more, I don't know, the prettier it was going to be. Especially with those tones, right? The purple and the gray and the pink. All right, so we're making sure we're finding our halfway, right? Put our little seams together. We know that's right there. So let's put a little pin in so we know that's our halfway point on the little purple flower in the leaf. And we know this is our halfway point on our purple solid. And we're gonna line those two little points right up together. Okay. Making sure we have our right sides together. Line that pin up. Forget to take that one out. I was like, where's the, <laughs> where's the head to it? Where'd it go? And make sure you have about equal portion on the other side. You know what I mean? You put your seams up and you got some where it's dark to the gray to the other purple to make sure you got in, not like four inches on one side and two inches on the other. But unless that's your choice. I mean, it, this pattern is going to be very flexible, so. To get that right. Okay, for some reason I thought I had two three inch strips on top of each other. I was like, that's not going to work. <laughs> I designed it a certain way. Right. Oops, forgot those two there. And come up from about here. Sew so this one down. Hopefully you're looking forward to the live stream tomorrow. We're going to finish off that fall, um, a touch of fall table runner.
I'm very excited for it. It was in the McCall's Quilting Magazine, September, October 2013. If you were interested in checking it out, it actually it is called Fall Ensemble, but because we're kind of tweaking it our way and we're doing it our way, we're calling it A Touch of Fall. Because I like the applique that they have on it, but I'm making mine a little bit different. So, and a little, my strips are a little bit wider. So. Our little uh, pie pumpkin, we got two pie pumpkins growing. They're, they're, they're like so cute. <laughs> I really wish I could grow a big pumpkin. I'd love to grow this big massive pumpkin. Maybe I'll find somebody's farm. I can borrow the back 40 or something. <laughs> grow a few big, huge, massive pumpkins. And it's great for chicken feed too, you know, they, they, they eat it throughout the winter. It's good for things for them, it cleans them out. So parasites and stuff, if they had any. All right, so let's just press this open or press this, press this, not press it. I'm not sure I keep saying press it open because I'm not. It's because it was folded over. <laughs> Pops just like, <laughs> get on, get on with it. Okay, so now we know we need a one because we just did a three. Okay. Do 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 do. do. All right. One and a half. Find the half, cut in half. So to either side. Okay. Make sure we got our right strip together. Nope, it's the other side. Oops. See, I'm going to have to look again. Make it right. Yes, it is. This is pretty color too. This one also came with, from, from donation. This uh, very pretty little purple flower one. It's very adorable. That would suit the quilt quite nicely since it's for a little girl. A wee little munchkin yet to be hatched. There we go, and then we'll pin that one. And we'll just keep going and going and going until it's all done. <laughs> all right, now make sure you find the halves. Or you could line it up. I mean, you don't have to go find the halves, halves. If you want to just ooh, eyeball it, that's up to you. I, can't want, I kind of would like a more of an exact uh, look to it, so that's why I'm taking the time to find the half and the half. And it's only just a matter of flipping the two fabrics over, so it's not too hard. I guess as it gets bigger, it might be a wrestle, but it depends how, how big you want to make it. Come on. Okay, perfect. Add those together. All right, and then move down the sides. All right, and then we're almost on to the pink, but I'm not sure uh, how we're doing for time. Because I always tell Pop, you know, 20, 30 minutes and two and a half hours later. <laughs> to me, it seems like 20 minutes has passed. <laughs> I said, I have so much fun with sewing. The time goes by so, so fast. See? Ha, joke, joke. Funny, funny. So, so fast. <laughs> 
Just get moving, right? I got gotcha. you. <laughs> okay, line them up. straightened out here before I take that pin out. I was actually going to make it white, and I thought, no, they said gray, so, you know, keep it, keep it gray. And then that way it adds a nice softness to it, too. It's not just, you know, pink and white and purple and white. And I like it with the gray, actually. I had a, actually, actually had a bunch of mix of whites. I had, a, a, like, a little scrappy kind of collection that I thought of at first. And I thought, you know what, no, I think we'll do it, do it the, the way that, you know, she said gray, so let's go with gray. We like that? Do do do. Alrighty. And of course, as you're building it, I put a nice six and a half strip on the bottom, and I have another big strip, six and a half strip for the very top once I get all the way up there. Uh, and that helps border out the piece of art that we're kind of building up with the fabric. So. Uh, and of course, if you wanted to, it has its own little border fabric with all the gray bits that are left over, uh, but you could always add another one if you so wish, you know. You could even do it very scrappy like, like the inside of what's, uh, what's, what's going on. So, are we good? Looks good so far. <laughs> yeah. He's open. <laughs> Alrighty, let's do this one. Okay. And of course, it's a two and a half inch strip because we just used a one. Okay, so we'll scoot over and grab that. So it ends up being, when you count eight and eight is 16, plus another eight is 24. So it's 24 rows that you're doing because I said eight, eight rows, one and a half, eight rows, or eight strips, sorry, eight strips. Well, it ends up being eight rows when you think about it because we're using one strip per row. So, um, what was the, was the plaid one, was it, or the gingham? There we go. So, uh, if you want to work it out that way, but you can do whatever you like. If you want to have, you know, five, five different sizes, do them five different times, then you've got 25 rows, right? So, oops. That was weird. We were sewing with stuff, weren't we? Because <laughs> it's all gone. <laughs> that was <laughs> that was very weird. <laughs> the last row is sewing on, right? Okay, that's weird. Cuckoo, cuckoo. I need these for sure. Why is that? It's all wiggly curly for some reason. Uh, come on. Oh. Guess could say. And we just want to rethread that just to be on the same side. Not sure what went on there, but oh well. Know me wanted to get reset up. Make sure you're not haven't really hurt your fabric. Got a little little chewy bits on that side. Oh, where were the presser foot? Okay. <laughs> so far so good. The quirky things that happen in the quilt shop. At least the cat is quiet. 
factor was he? Oh, no, he's not sleeping on his pillow. Oh, he's sleeping on his other pillow. He's got like four pillows around the floor here of the quilt shop. I, I make sure he's comfortable where he's napping and laying. I just don't want him on my other stuff. So I provide him places to sleep, right? That way he won't nap on things he's not supposed to nap on. And I won't have to get mad at him. All right, come on. There's a long thread tail on that one. I like gingham. Gingham's such a fun fabric. You can do so much with it, All right? Okay, how's that looking? It's gonna be quite big, actually. It's gonna be a large size. Bigger for bigger than the, the, the crib, or probably just around the same size as the crib. Okay, so that's just kind of going gradual step up down that one, too. Ooh, find the halves. Okay, and there, find the halves. Okay. All right, now. Perfect. Put the little points on top of each other, and away you go. Okay. For here. here and then sew it all down okay. Okay. oops almost just get that lined up a bit there And this, uh, this end kind of ends the purple colors, and then the rest are all pink. As I was describing it to Pop, he goes, oh, it doesn't seem like a very complicated pattern. I go, it's not really. It's just to, you know. It's actually quite an easy pattern. It's a great start for anybody, or even like a little quick wall hang as a gift for somebody. Do it on a little bit of a smaller scale. So. out just a little bit make sure I'm kind of visually lining up with this one always make sure you're coming past because that is going to be your trim your your corner down there okay and do do, do. there we go there's another one Papa's making noise. <laughs> All right, now for the next one, which is a three and a half. Nice big chunk here. And this is where I was thinking, okay, maybe some of those other three and a half bits might actually fit. Like since if we were to square them up, but yeah, like I say, you have to square all that up afterwards. So we we've, we've accommodated, we've uh, enough for this each strip, each row to have a strip. Oh, that one's got a little bit of a fold in it. So let's get that there. Okay. So we know we have our three and a half. Like I said, we probably don't need all, all, even the half of the half of it, but 
we're going to do it. That's the way I've designed it. Seems like my gray strip's a little bit bigger than my pink strip, or is my pink strip small? Oh. Just have to trim my little gray strip here for some reason. It's a little bit bigger than my pink strip. Whoops. Hmm. Better deal with that right away. Oh no. Do -do -do. If you like to see the chef, <laughs> did you turf a little bit over here? Did you turf a little bit over here? <laughs> Pop says no. <laughs> Stop making the noises. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, for some reason, it's not all quite lined up. Well, happens. Nothing's perfect. A little trim in there. A little trim in there. Ooh. Oops, a little more. Okay, now that over here, that over there. Let's press this open. Hopefully I did it on the right side. I did. All right, so let's find the half. There's a pencil on the floor and I don't want to roll over it. There. Find the half of here. Just past, yep, it is. Because that one's just a short little step, too. Yeah, because we're starting to form another shape with these um, with these strips. Two. up your two edges. need to go that far. I want to make sure it's all together though. Okay. Coming along. Mm. 
Okay, next. Let's get plugging away. Go. Well, as we find the half already on this one, be ready to rock for the next piece, which should be a one and a half. Got that one? Uh, hold on. Strips are out of order. Ah, there it is. There's my one and a half. Okay, it should be just wider then, which it is. Okay, perfect. Do leave that there. Just want to get a better poke in. It's the strangest needles. All right, one and a half. Okay. Line that up better. Just kind of did a rough fold there. Right, no. So the one and a halfers. Don't burn your fingers. All right, now find this half. Because we know we already found it on the big one, so we just need to find it on this little one here. All right, we can pin her up. All right. There. Like I say, make sure when you get to this section here where it's one is coming past the other, make sure they're even ish, even ish on both sides. Okay. So, I am trying to flip and flop every now and again because I don't want any big bows in my uh, strips. Though, because I am cutting it and piecing it in the center, I'm not sure I'd really suffer that, but uh, just to be on the safe side. Flip and flop. I'll do a couple one way, whatever. I'm, or if you notice that there's a bowing going on, then definitely switch it. where I need to be. Yep, that's a little cut. Press. You must have a guess by now. You probably have it right. <laughs> How's that looking? Looking good. All right. So we still have quite a bit of strips to go. How are, hmm? You're gonna fast forward? Oh, already, okay. So let's just, keep, we're gonna keep plugging and we're gonna make this super fast, like two or four or five times, 10 times fast.
Okay. Now, here comes the fun part. Okay. All right. Don't need that. Need this. So have you guessed yet? Have you? We're almost there. Now comes the part where we're going to change it, okay? So we know we're building up on this side. We have these little bitty bobs left over, and we know our next strip in this section would be a two inch, okay? So we're going to take our, considering I had that one all pinned together, we're going to take our two inch, and we're going to find a happy home somewhere in between where this shape can start taking form at the top, okay? We're gonna move this over here, move this over here, and we're gonna put a piece of gray right in the center, okay? And we're gonna start building up a little bit on either side. So let me just uh, refer to my diagram real, real quick. Yeah, okay, I just wanna make sure I am building up for the outside as well as the, like to come out this way a little bit and leave that gap in the center. So I just want a smidge. So this is where the math is gonna have to come involved here. Okay, oops, my whole table off. Okay, and then right here, I need to make sure that I have a good enough chunk of gray to substitute this section right here, okay? And then we'll put gray on the other sides, okay? So we know that's two and a half, right? So we're gonna take that, cut it in half, just like the same thing as we've been doing all along here. Sew it onto one half. Okay, and then we sew it onto the other half. Okay, just sit right there for a moment, hold your horses. Okay, and now we know, let's get this pinned up a bit here. If that comes out just a smidge, if we only want it to coming out like a quarter, half an inch, uh, three quarters of an inch or anything like that, there, and the same over here. We need to take our little ruler. My little one, is it under there somewhere? No, it's my little one. No, it's okay, I guess my big one will have to do. I'm dropping stuff off everywhere. Okay. Now we know we need a quarter inch seam allowance on both sides of this. So if we already add the quarter, we know we need four and a quarter. So a four and a quarter strip of off, probably one of these will be just fine. Actually, you know what? Let's just do another two. Let's cut the four and a half strip off and we're gonna put it in between those two pink pieces. There we go. Okay, one, two, three, four. Did I say four and a half or four and a quarter? I apologize. It was actually four and a quarter. One, two, three, four, and one quarter. Now that's gonna get sewn in right there. And maybe you can guess now what we're doing. Oops, don't. You need that piece next, silly. Sew it there, make sure we have our seams together in the right spot where they're supposed to be. Okay. Now, we should be able to find the half on the gray, come equal with the pinks, right? And then just do the same thing. It's, you're just have, finding a new center. You're kind of pretty much making your new center. Okay, so we know we're half there. 
And we know we are half there. And pinch and pinch and away we go. Get it sewed on and maybe you can have a better guess of what we're doing. I'm sure you've guessed already. Many times. Okay, now make sure you're happy with the equal portion on either side, okay? Let's see, I need to shift this a minute, okay? Equal portion of the pink or gray or what have you that is coming past, okay? Because you need just like I said, about a quarter of an inch, a half an inch, whatever. Okay. And same on that side. It's approximately the same. And then just sew it down, okay? And there's only a few more rows to go. I know it's a bit of a long project, but it's a cute project. Almost remind me of the Smurf song. <laughs> I, I used to sing this song to Pop when, you know, we first started dating. And he's like, there's no Smurf song like that. And I'm like, yes, there is. It's about a pink toothbrush and a blue toothbrush. And they've met in the bathroom. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> It's funny. It's <laughs> still so, whatever. <laughs> Anybody else know that Smurf song? You're a pink toothbrush, I'm a blue toothbrush, and we met somewhere before. I know I'm not going crazy. I know I'm not. <laughs> I'm sure you've got your guess on by now. I'm sure you're right. I'm not gonna tell you though. Nope. I'm not saying nothing. Almost. Oh, we almost used the whole bobbin. That was a full bobbin when I started. Okay, at least I got a little bit of a backup one just in case. Okay, so let's give this a press. They're getting bigger, bigger, bigger. Oh, oh, snaggle fraggins. How did that? Oh, it's that lost because how did that shift? It looks like it's stitched. I was looking on the wrong color. It's easy. It's easy to shift. There we go. Sometimes things get missed and you just go back and fix them. No stress, okay? No stress. All right, let's get this a press and then I'll show you. Get a good look at it. I'm sure you got this. You, you got this, I know you do. You peeps are smarts. SMRT! <laughs> what do you think? It's looking cute? Yep, up. Yep, up. Yay! All right, couple more. Couple more. All right, we got this one. Oops. Okay, we got this one to do. Okay. Here. 
Just do the quick little layout here so you can see what the next couple rows are going to look like. Right there. That's one side. Okay? And then the other side. It's just like that. See? You got this. <laughs> All right, so what is that, two and a half? That actually seems out of order. Oops, did I do that out of order? Because it should be one, two, three. Did I go two, three, two? Yeah. Oopsies. Pattern adaption. <laughs> no, because it wouldn't have gone there. No. I'm sure I'm not missing one. No, I guess not. Oopsies, oh well. Pattern adaption. Okay, so put that over there because we want to work on this one right now and make sure they even themselves up. So let's put these guys over here. Don't want to lose them. The pack and pile. Okay. Hopefully I have enough two and a half strips. But um bump. Okay. Now. All right, and now for these last little bits here, I'm just going to show you how it's going to lay out, and then uh, we'll call that uh, a weekend project, and you'll have to uh, check it out. Uh, it'll hang behind me, or at least on the long arm Wednesday to figure out how it got all finished. Okay, hold on. Okay, here only got a few more, but still four more strips is going to take some time. So let's move it down here, a smidge here, here. Here, or I think that goes that way. So I wonder why it was looking weird. And then, of course, that goes up there on top ish. Come on, you. And then we'll do the same over here. Here, here, and here. There we go. What we think. Hopefully, we like it. And that's what I was building today. Is this right here? Mm -hmm. We had to change the name because uh, I had it as. Um, something else <laughs> but nonetheless it's heart <laughs> so that's kind of what I was working on kind of cool eh do my little thingamajiggy and figuring out something new and kind of cool and uh hoping that they would like it so all right take care everybody enjoy your weekend and we'll see you tomorrow for a live stream finishing off the fall wall you know fall table runner we already did the turkey we already did Mr. Tom turkey we already did that Tom Test Turkey, that's what we'll call. <laughs> All right, take care, everybody. Enjoy your day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.